Good morning. Welcome to Fishful Thinker. I'm Chad Lachance. I'm camera guy Tim Farnsworth. And why is camera guy in front of the camera? Because it's his 50th birthday year and to celebrate, we went to Alaska together. The biggest thing that makes it so exciting up here at the fly fishing for, for pike is the fact that you can see them in a lot of cases. Oh my God. Yeah, I Dude, see that's him. on his tail. That is I a see giant. Him. I see him. I see him. Throw. Oh, he came after it. He came after it. Here he is. He's, He's right He's here. Coming. He's right here. You know before you're going to get bit or you know you're going to have a shot at getting bit to the point where there's a lot of the times where we're picking big ones to throw at. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, he didn't get it. Is he coming back for it? Oh, no, there's, there's one. Oh, he got it. Oh, that's a good one there. That's there a good fish go. on the fly. Get him on the reel. Get him on the reel. Slap it, slap it. Good job. There good, you good. go. There you go. Bingo. That's how you do it. Get him on the reel. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You like this fishing spot, Farns? Holy cow. Happy birthday. Holy cow. Do me, do me. <laughs> See how this fish is pulling the boat around? This is what we call an Alaskan adventure sleigh ride. Ah, everybody gets to tag along. Oh my, God, that's the best one of the that day. That is yet. a big one, yeah. That's a big one, people. Ooh, that's a toad. Or over here. What a snake. Yeah, that's a big pike. Dude, that fly is gone, too. He's probably not ready, but I'm gonna throw. Come on over here, big guy. Come on, open your lip. He got him. Yeah, that's a big old that bite. Gone. Yeah, oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Uh, you ready for this? Check this out. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, that is awesome. Wow. There's a lot of times where you're like, well, there's a there's a 36 incher, there's a 32 incher, there's a 40 incher. Whoa, that one's like 45 inches. Throw to him. That goes back to being able to make the cast, and then hopefully your fly will settle down enough before one of the 30 inchers sees it and <laughs> runs over and grabs it. Because that was the other scenario we ran into a whole bunch there. Just flop it over there. All right, we just saw one sitting here. Here he comes. It. Boom! <laughs> Literally just lands a freaking 43, 42 inch northern. Puts the rod down, picks it right back up for a nice, what, I don't know, maybe a 35? I don't know, but he was just laying in the weed bed in front of the boat. We could see him, guys. And uh, we could see him laying there. <laughs> well done. And, and when the guide says, just flop it over there. Now strip it, strip it, strip it. Get it. <laughs> oh, that is another good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good fun right there. Hot fish, hot fish, coming in hot. Woo! Oh, this is oh it's another good looking fish though. Right? There's like, seems to be like three major classes. You got the mid 20s, the mid 30s, and the mid 40s here. And then the 50s. Come here, you. Oh, he's butting right in the side. That is classic. That is a pretty one. Great mark. Look at this big old point on his lip. Yep, he being played that's a nice fish. It's a great looking fish. Not huge, but nice. Dude, that's a great fish. The biggest pike that I personally caught on this whole trip was on the fly rod. And I had seen another fish up shallow and I threw to him. And as I was stripping back, I realized that there was a giant between me and there. And my line was coming over the top of him and Dan pointed out, he's like, look at that big one right there. And I realized that the line was behind him. But when I picked the fly up to represent it and throw it in front of him, he caught the, the movement of the fly and swims around right away in front of the boat and he's sitting right in front of the boat and I just flopped the fly back down and let it sink and whack and stuck that thing right in front of the boat. That is I a see giant. him, I see him, I see him. Throw, oh, he came after it, he came after it. There he is, he's, coming, he's right he's here, coming. he's right here. Strip it, strip it. Oh my, that is a 50. Oh my. Yeah, he's right here, Tim. He's right here, it's just sinking in front of him. 
got him. I got him. I got him. Oh my god. Oh, I got it him. Is a monster. I got him. It is a monster. Oh, it is a pig. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got him. Yes. The line out there. Get him on the reel. Get him on the reel. I know this one. I know this one. Oh that's a God. hog, dude. Oh that's God. a big pike, oh and he just God. bit right in front of the boat. Oh. Oh. No, that's a big one. Dude, are you kidding me? Where's he going? No, I'm just trying to hold him tight is all. Oh my God, you don't understand. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up right now. Dude, that's a big old pike. Look at how hard I'm pulling. Look how he's got the whole front four feet of the rod straight. And that's a 10 weight. <laughs> I'm shaking right now, and I don't shake that often. Dude. First cast, first cast was a bad cast, but the fish turned around and looked at it. Well, I didn't oh see my him when God, I made yeah. that, that first throw. I didn't see him, and then you're like, wait, there's a fish, and then I realized it was right behind him, and I thought I could get away with picking it up. He was not afraid one bit of the boat. Nope. He was within about three feet of the boat at one point. That is a monster. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there, baby. Holy crap, dude. I'm gonna back us up. Okay. I have to, we're That's getting fine. close to them weeds. That's fine. He's not ready anyway. No. We're gonna wanna steal this one too, people. <laughs> oh man, we are such advocates of both fly and conventional tackle. It is a way to have the most fun. We caught fish 10 feet deep on conventional tackle and catching these in inches of water. Holy crap, that's a big sure to pike. Keep this fish away from the weeds. That is a hold. Yeah, that is a big pike. Okay, buddy, here's oh, uh, Man, oh man, is that a pit pike or what? Oh, dude. That's a big one. Uh, yeah, right? I will say uh, this one has potential to be the biggest pike. I need him to be about 46 to be the biggest I've caught, or 40, 47, somewhere right there. This one's for sure one of the can, thickest. Oh, you want him on, on this side? side. Come on around here, here, buddy. Here. Gotcha, I wasn't thinking straight. Okay, here he comes. I'm on the leader now. Let me see here. Come on. Give me your lips. Come on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. No. Oh. I got him. I got him. I got him. That is a big pike, dude. Uh oh. What happened to his head? Line got. Dude, that is a big pike. Patience. He doesn't like you. No. They've heard stories. Bow to him when he runs that hard, right? Bow to the king. The gator. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm just trying to be patient and just let him lead himself around. Be patient. Got him. <laughs> What you ready a for this? fish. Look at this pig. Uh, oh, oh, dude, are oh. you kidding me? Oh. oh, my. Dude. That's a pig. That. That's what we're talking about. Dude, you have You come a... to Alaska for pigs like this. We grow them big. Oh, <laughs> my favorite savage right here. That's a 20 pounder. Yep. Oh, man, that's incredible. Guys, let him look at him underwater right there. That is an incredible fish, dude. And uh, yeah, you got a good spot to fish. Look at that fish. Can I get the tape measure? Um, no, just he's good. He's a okay. 20 pounder. That's a giant. I don't have to give him any more hard time. That. Goodbye, what, buddy. What a fish. Kick. There he goes. He's good. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't, Come on. It's not often that I get shaken over fish, but uh, but one that one right there, I'll get you going. And but I had like literally like this much line out when he bit. I mean, I had the length of the rod out like this when he bit right off the front of the boat. Incredible, dude. Incredible. You can see the whole mouth just boom, and the fly just disappear. It's like, oh, he got it. That was a big fish. <laughs> I don't think there was ever more than a two-hour period at any point that we were fishing for pike 
that we weren't around 40 plus inch pike. They were there literally everywhere up there. Yeah, yeah, it, to the point of almost scary. Like you don't even want to get out of the boat. Yeah, That's what we're talking about. Dude, you, you come to Alaska for pigs like this.